it's Pupmeister, and today we're going to be looking at how to make a trading hall. A super easy early game trading hall that you can pretty much make from the very get-go. So, let's get started. The trading hall I like to do Instead of building it like a hundred blocks away or whatever, so the population of the trading hall doesn't impact the village, I like to have it right by the village. So I don't have to like travel. <laughs> so I do them underground. And so this is what we are going to create today, an underground trading hall. And it's so easy. You need very little supplies. All right, so let's go. I'm going to dig it right here. And the reason I'm going to do put it here is so I can put water here and it'll flush it so the librarian comes to this area and falls down. So one other thing you should do before you start digging down is take your coordinates of where you're digging down. So in this case, minus 2344 and minus 918. Now the next thing you need to do is figure out where you want to come up. In other words, when you're down there, you have to figure out where you're going to place your tunnel to come back up. For example, do you want, do you want it here where with a trap door so you can climb up and come up here? Or do you want to come up inside this building? Or do you want to just come up outside the fence here? In my case, I've decided I want to come up inside this building. So this is basically lined up with that one. But it's minus 925 instead of minus 918. Still minus 2344 on the X, but the Z is different. So by knowing this coordinate, when you're down there, you can dig to that area and then dig up with your ladders and you will have your way up exactly where you want it instead of haphazardly digging somewhere <laughs> and deciding, oh, I'll go up here. And then you end up, I don't know, under the building or in the water or who knows where. So just a little bit of planning ahead of time will make a big difference. If you have a certain direction you want your trading hall to be in, for example, I'm, I'm gonna want it out that way. So make sure you see what direction that is. So south, because when you're digging down here, you can lose the direction that you're facing very easily. So what are we gonna need? In this case, I'm just gonna start with eight different areas for librarians, but you could do six or 12 or however many you want. But all you need is a gate. You need a sign to tell you what it is. You need some ladders to get back up. This one is very important before we start. Make sure you have ladders. And you're gonna need an oak trap door which will go up here. I'm not gonna do it quite yet because it's in a fenced area and nobody can fall here. So we wanna go at least 30 down, maybe 32 blocks down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now, yes, it is dangerous to just dig straight down but 30 blocks is usually not too bad. You're not gonna usually find anything too major in the first 30 blocks. Uh, but if you wanna be careful, you can dig two and then fill one back up once you're down there, or you can do my water technique. Um, but I'm just gonna risk it this time because the risk, yes, it could happen, however, it's not likely for only 30 blocks, okay? So 11, 12, 13, 14. Of course, watch me fall in some big cavern now that I said that. 30, 31, 32, 33. There, I went 33. 
and we're in a whole bunch of diorite here. All right, so now that we're down here, we can look and make sure we're still facing south. And this is the direction our trading hall will go in. And I like to make it at least three high. Uh, maybe I'll go one lower. So where am I at? 34 down, I think. And then I like to take it this way. And I make the hallway itself three blocks wide. Okay, so this is the way we're going to be going. This right here is where they're going to be dropping. So you're going to put a bucket of water right where the hole is, just like that. And then we just want to keep digging. And we're going to be digging just straight out like this. Now I'm going to make also another little hallway here because you also want to go back up. Okay, and we're going to put some lights down here just so nothing spawns because that would not be good whatsoever. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to be coming up in that house. And I measured where we are here, which is minus 918. And where we want to go up is minus 925. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So basically straight up here, uh, got some uh, extra coal, which is great. So straight up here is basically where we want to go. And this is where you are going to put your ladders. And you'll just climb up and keep digging up. And that is how we get up there. Right around here is where I make my first little cubbies and I make them across from each other. Now hopefully we won't get into any water here because that would not be good. Okay, and then you put a little torch up top so it stays nice and lit. You take your gate and you place it right in the front like this. And then you take your sign and you place your sign right up above like that. And that will tell you where or what the enchantment is that these guys are carrying. Um, now, just so our beloved librarians don't fall and then hit the edge here and die from fall damage, I usually do an extra little uh, two here, so it kind of keeps them more in the hole and they won't hit the edge. And then when I'm done this, because now you're just repeating, like it's literally that simple. So when I'm done my eight, I'll come back and show you. Okay, and there you go. It's that simple. Digging out all these little areas where the librarians can go in. Always leave the gates open so that when they drop down, sometimes they'll even just wander in here themselves and then you can close this behind them. Um, sometimes you have to use water to kind of push them in or whatever. But um, this is the basic premises and it's so easy. Now this is super basic. You can of course dress this up with uh, whatever blocks you like and make it all nice and shiny. <laughs> um, but as you can tell, you can do this super early in your world. Like, you know, you don't need glowstone. You don't need anything from the nether. You don't need um, 
anything fancy. So you can make this trading hall early on and get all the enchantments you need. And then you can take on the harder stuff. So let's keep going here. And we just keep digging and placing the ladders. Dig out a side block and place a torch just like that. And then your way up will stay nicely lit as well. And then here we are right where I left the trap door. Okay, and now we have a way in and out. We can go down here and do anything we want and villagers won't open that. And then of course over here, we can place our other trap door. Now, the way you wanna place it is you wanna place it on the inside. So when you open it and the water is flowing and you want them to fall, it should be on this side. Cause if it's on this side, they might stand on it and not fall. So the way you want it facing is that way. Okay, and you could actually fall down here as well because there's water in the in the bottom and you should be fine. And now you're basically ready to go. Now I just realized I'm gonna be bringing them here by boat. So I'm going to, obviously boats have a problem with this little lip here between the grass and the paths. So I'm going to have to put paths in there just to get the boat in there. And I think I'm also going to have to replace all this wood here. All right, so here's the guy we want. Let's try to get it. Oh, so the guy got in real quick. Go away, man. Go away. Okay, there we go. Now we got the guy we want. He's right behind us. And all we have to do is go to our drop-off point. Okay, you can just open those two. When you have two together, a boat will fit through no problem. Okay, and then you just break the boat just like that. And now you open the trap door, you place the water, and you can see he's going right to the corner where you want him. Once he's there, take the water away and down he goes. And it's that simple. Now let's go down our trap door and see what he's doing. Now, one other thing I forgot, we will definitely want to place another gate right here. So this guy can't escape through there. So now we just need to either push him in just like that. Oh, so close. So close. And just kind of go wherever he wants to go, really, because at this point, they're all open. So he's, he's fixated on this. Maybe if I close it up. Sometimes they're trouble, and it takes a bit. There we go. Now he's in. Okay, and then when you right click them, you can see it's looting three. So replace it and just put looting three. So now when we come down here and we're looking for that enchantment, we know this is the guy. Now that he is down there, a new villager like this guy who doesn't have a job, will connect himself to the lectern. There we go, there's a new guy. And then if he doesn't give you the book you want, and right now he's giving me no book, so that's not what I want. Just break it, put it back, and then he'll come back and give you something new, like piercing two. 
And you basically just have to go back and forth, back and forth, just like that. Until another guy comes. And until you get the enchantment that you're looking for. Now, one other thing I want to say. This is actually the very first time that I've used a fence. Usually, I cordon off an area with just blocks that are too high. So fences are something new that I'm trying here. Uh, but for the most part, I think it works. Just to be extra safe, remember I said I placed these two blocks just to keep them in place? There's still a super rare chance that they might hit the edge. So before you drop one down, you might even want to put two more blocks under these, and then they won't hit the edge for sure. Just like that. The one other thing I'm going to suggest, um, remember I said I'm trying fences for the first time. I usually use walls. Well, now I know why. <laughs> Because as you can see, when you use a wall, there's nowhere else for him to stand and they will fall. When you use a fence, see these little areas here? He could stand on the edge of the fence and not go through. So my suggestion is either do what I did here if you're using fence or just use a solid two block high wall all the way around wherever you're dropping them in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this trading hall tutorial useful because I use it every time. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.